Well, like, kind of... Hello. Huh? Hi. Hi. It's... Hey. Here we are. Yep. It's, and... uh... It's starting fresh. Starting fresh? Yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah. This is, uh... Why don't you tell us what this is? Because nobody knows. Nobody's ever heard of this game before. This is... The whole thing or just this one? Just just go. Do the thing. Uh, we're... It's, it's Star Fox. You yeah. know. Yeah. It's, this is the Super Nintendo Star Fox. The first one. The second one never came out. But it doesn't exist. The second one doesn't exist and nobody's it's, ever played it and no one knows about exist. it and we're certainly not going to play it either. It's, anyway, It's a myth. It's a yeah. myth. Yeah. Anyway, this is Star Fox. This is, um, about, this is a game about animals in space. Yeah, they're flying airplanes. Mm -hmm. Just airplanes, not even like just, space planes. Yeah, just, just airplanes. Can you believe that it actually turns out that the airplanes we currently use could go to space right now and we didn't know? Yeah, we just haven't ever tried because it's scary. Yeah, well, you have to, it took the animals to, to take them to space because yeah. animals don't know common sense, so they will take things to space if they want to. Yeah, that's to. why we sent animals into space and they just stayed there. Yeah, that's and started a space colony. Out. You never heard from the chimps who went to Mars or whatever because yeah. they probably live there now. I think like is probably like their ruler, president, something. Wait, who is who what? The the dog that the U.S. Oh yeah. In space. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, um, Star Fox is this cool as hell SNES game that uses a special chip called the Super Effects chip that lets it render graphics that would otherwise not be doable on the SNES. By those graphics, I mean really fucking shitty polygons. <laughs> so the the thing like is, like, this shit. this game was, like, it was really iconic for a lot of reasons when it came out. Yeah, because so. um, this hadn't really been done on a Super Nintendo. Um, you know, there were there were shitty DOS games that looked like this. But, I mean, there, you know, there were other, there were lots of PC gaming had advanced beyond this. But nonetheless, this is, this is pretty yeah don't you think um, it's pretty yeah it's cool for the time like it did i thought that this game blew this my mind going on the snes was really fucking cool yeah this game like my literally only, blew my mind my only real complaint is that the frame rate is super garbage yeah it's so and bad it's hard to play it's so bad that yeah like it's hard to play because it's not responsive because the frame rate is just not good also you don't have a targeting reticle yeah so you have to just kind of guess where your shots are gonna go or mm -hmm. just keep shooting to kind of go like that mm -hmm. kind of just relative to your last shot um yeah like it's all it's like kind of it's janky to look at like it it's choppy and i don't know like it, it's not it's not a joy to look at and the draw distance feels kind of like inconsistent you know like it feels like some stuff pops in a little later than others yeah but i don't know it's the start of a very interesting series overall yeah, I mean, the other Star Fox games are definitely better than yeah. this Star Fox game. And they wouldn't exist without this, so... Yeah, so, you know, yeah. know your roots. You know those shirts those shirts that have, like, a Nintendo controller and they say, know God, your for roots? for fuck's sake! Yeah, I do know those. Um, well, I want a shirt that says, know the roots, and then it, like, it's the band, like, the roots... Like Oh, I thought you meant, like, no roots, like the book and movie. Roots. Yeah. Just know um, it, okay? Yeah, you It's going to be on the test. It's a it's a very important part of cinema history, to be it honest. It is, you should probably yeah. watch that movie. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. Anyway, um, this, is an an this is a game about animals in space. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the music of this game fucking owns, by the way. Yeah, like, it's pretty good. Oh, one thing I was going to say is... The Super FX chip was only used in a few games. Can you listen to me? What? Can you list them to me? The only other one I remember right offhand is Yoshi's Island. Oh, that's actually really good, though, because Yoshi's Island looks gorgeous. Yeah, it does. Um, Guessing? You could... I, like, I'm more asking you. Do you know if Kirby's Dream Land 3 uses it, too? Because that game is probably the prettiest game I can think of on the SNES, so I'm just wondering if it uses... I'm looking up a list right now. Okay. The list of games that uses the Super FX, according to... Um, hmm. Doom uses it. it. Does it? Yeah, Doom for the SNES uses Super FX 2. Wow, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. 
Um, yeah, Yoshi's Island, Doom, Star Fox, um, and then a bunch of bullshit that never, that doesn't matter. Yeah, like Winter Gold. Is that like Dirt I'm assuming Racer. it's like a Winter Olympics game, if I had to guess. Yeah, something like that. And then there are a few games that never got released that used it. Uh... Oh shit, Winter Gold, also known as FX Skiing, is a winter sports game with events like bobsled, ski jump, or snowboarding, all in a 3D graphics environment. And there's like a dude like skiing on the cover. God. I don't think any of those games were probably very good. Probably not. This game's honestly not that good. <laughs> it was good at the time though. Yeah, it was. It absolutely was. This game like literally blew my kid my kid mind. My child mind, which I actually currently still have. I keep two minds. Yeah, I I am of two minds about this game. <laughs> nice, it's pretty good. Oh man. Oh no! What? You know what? I made a save state because you know what? This game's hard as fuck. You know if you hit F2 it save states, right? Well, I thought I edited them all out. You fucking clown. I thought I caught them all. There will probably be a couple of those in here somewhere. Fucking clown. Um, sorry. Clown. Yeah, anyway. This, this game's hard. Yeah. Like, this game... Also, uh, first person. What? Oh, wait, there is a reticle. Yes, there's only a reticle in first person mode. This seems I, ideal, though, actually. You can't play every stage in first person is the thing. Only wait, like certain it, stages work in first person. Like, it doesn't let you? Yeah. Oh. You don't have to play in first person if you don't want to. Does it? Do you prefer first person? Because yes, it has a reticle. Yes, because the reticle. Yeah, the yeah. game is like infinitely more playable when you're in first person. Yeah, it seems seems like it honestly. Also, it just feels like it runs a little faster because it doesn't have to render your R wing. Yeah, it, honestly, and it, it kind of reminds me of like Descent. Yeah. I feel like, like we're um, playing like a really shitty SNES Descent right now. I and played so much Descent. I literally grew up on Descent and Descent Two. And I never actually played Descent for Descent Three, but I I grew up on a uh, like a demo slash trailer for the yeah. game. Uh, Baldur's Gate, um, I believe, had a uh, a little trailer along with the installer uh, for for Descent Three, and it was it's really hokey. I love it. Yeah. So I've seen that plenty of times, but I, I didn't really get to play like the actual Descent Three. But I played Descent Free Space a shitload. Free Space that's, Two is a game I really like. Yeah, Free Space and Free Space Two are just really really good like space combat sims. Like they are fantastic games. I had. Um, I think they're on Steam now, or they're coming out on Steam. I could be totally wrong. I think they're on Steam though. What Free Space? Yeah, Free Space. It's on GOG. Got. I don't know if it's. I feel like a, like a I feel like they just recently did like a remastered version on Steam though. I'm gonna I look, know. real fast. I, um, I had about three PC games growing up, and I played them all to death. Uh, had... Descent Free Space: The Great War is five ninety nine on Steam. The Free Space Two is nine ninety nine on Steam. So there you go. Hmm. Oh, I'm huh. probably gonna purchase Descent Free Space later because that's six bucks. Yeah, yeah, that game is super good. Um, I was gonna say there are, there were only four like no three PC games I had growing up on like our old shitty compact Windows ninety five. Yeah, it was and one of a Magic PC Carpet. Games, those, yes, those games were Descent, Magic Carpet, and Hardball Four. Oh, uh, what about what about Theme Park? When did you play that? Oh, wait. I bought that with my own money at a at an elementary school book fair. Yes! Oh my God! Yes, I love mm -hmm. elementary school book fair fairs. Yeah. The Scholastic Book Fairs. Yep, yeah, that was it. That they were so good. I I would buy like um, I would buy, I would always look at like the like the little <laughs> bit of like edutainment games that they had, and then like like some of them weren't even really edutainment, and I wondered why they had them. I got Lemmings Paintball from a Scholastic Book I didn't Fair. I know it was a Lemmings Paintball game. It is a weird game, and I I actually like honestly I I kind of wanna I kind of make a video of it sometime if I if I could find it and play it again it's basically it's a it's a puzzle game where you uh it's isometric and you want to get your lemmings to like capture a flag or get to the end of a level or something but you have like a squall a small squad of like four and uh or actually i think the squad gets like larger depending on the level but it, it's a little bit like uh four swords where yeah. you basically have like a like you have limited ammunition for each paintballer 
and you need them to like go to separate areas to like hit switches to let each other through and then you finish the level and it's it was i remember loving it but it's probably not nearly as good as i remember it probably yeah, sucked probably. a lot probably did also like i pulled out of first person mode for this boss just because it's a little easier to aim when you can do this on the boss at least just because you can see more yeah it seems like it actually seems pretty easy to just hit those all anyway since they're all right next to each other yeah this part might be a little bit easier but in first person rather but whatever yeah you gotta dodge stuff too so yeah because you can still dodge in first person it's just like you saw there was a little ring mm -hmm. that's and that spins whenever you yeah no yeah i know that those are like leveled weird. out with your with your wings weird i think it's kind of neat actually honestly i feel like that's like a really smart I mean, way to it's implement it's a very elegant way of doing it that doesn't require them having any 3d yeah or like a full hud or anything like that you just literally have like a little spin. marker reticle around your reticle and i think that's kind of neat actually there i just complimented Star Fox. there you go i like how much falco just looks like an angry bird oh god i didn't mean to say those words i just mean like he's <sighs> for fuck's sake i didn't mean to say those words i did it to Edit the video so that I said, like, grizzled bird. <laughs> grizzled yeah, bird. Yeah, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna, um... Oh, let's just keep going. Oh, okay. <laughs> Finish your joke. What were you gonna say? What? I don't know. I lost it. Forget kay. it. Go, to, go home. Stop watching. This video's over. See you next time. Goodbye.